Bank, back in the 210, Wednesday today, about 8 o'clock. Got Mitch back here again. I uh, did a bit of track to work to start off the day, just moving a pile of rock down to the, to the main big pile, so it's all in one spot. And then now, we're just moving these, uh, the last of these concrete panels out of the way. It's a bit, bit trickier because I can't just slew around, I actually got to track forward a bit, but it's alright. Still a nice setup. I sort of got set up with yesterday, so let's track forwards and backwards and it's not making a mess. It's not too cold out there for Mitch. I made sure we weren't bloody doing it straight away, so. Uh, yeah, got a bit of track to work in first. There's a couple of them that are still in the pile, that's alright. Um, but yeah, it's just something we do need to get this sorted out because I'm putting all the stockpiles on this pad, so I want to get. Oh, oh, hang on, just twisting. Yeah, we're putting all the stock piles here, so when we get these moved out of the way, so then we can put piles on here without them being in the way. All those tyres are going to get chucked on the pile as well, that's what they asked for, so get the tractor up there and load those out as well as the other piles that we've got up there. chains a little bit over the edge so that when Mitch chains them on he can put the chain over and keep the tension on the on the lifting um, what do you call them lifting hooks but it I don't know whatever you call them but yeah see so put the put the chain over and keep the tension on so they stay up the right way because they do have to be put on a certain way which Mitch is buddy a pro at now yeah, it takes us about 40 minutes per um, section of panel, so shouldn't yeah, we're nearly halfway. Four more to get to halfway. There's a couple that bolt there, it's from the ones I cut yesterday. it up with the digger, it's got the face to face, Slide down, hands with the controls, wait till Mitch is out of the way, start slowing, yeah it's all just about being slow, I'm not trying to rush it, especially with the swinging um, of the panels, just trying to go nice and slow. There's a lot of weight swinging around out there, and like Mitch, Mitch thinks he's stronger than he is, but I don't know if he can stop one of those. But yeah, so let's keep working our way through it, and then yeah, move on to some other jobs. So they want to put some of these in this shed, but I don't know how well it's going to go.
only got in a little bit of the way. So that's sort of figured out what we can do there and what we can't. Um, so I think the plans might change on what they want to do in there. plans what the go is um, so first things first gonna start demolishing the section here um, might just back up but if you just want to go past me Those will end up 
just going with going with the concrete. So it's got this ripped out, the camera's gone dead, um, got that side out, that side out. I'll just load this out into the tractor, and then yeah, pretty easy stuff, but just trying not to damage the bottom of that and this one here, so. Right, so camera dog, and it's down in the other concrete, but um, up here, the top end above the sheds, just ripping out some more concrete, and ripping, ripping out this gateway. Uh, so there was a post, pretty much, where that metal rod is just below my bucket now, so rip that post out, and then the gate actually swings up to the to the next post up, which is all right. And there's a bloody black pipe here, which I'm trying to figure out where exactly it goes. It's, I have been told I can just rip it out, but. follow it through rather than just cutting right through it. back in here where bucket is and I'll load the stuff on here. Sweet. Grab this big boy here. Grab a corner. I'll be able to get the whole thing. Uh, stuck. See if I can slide that through. 
Yeah. 